Hello students, now today we are going to understand about a very important organ of special sense. Now all animals are endowed with these special senses, especially developed animals like us humans or animals or vertebrates have got five organs of special senses. And there is a very beautiful saying in Sanskrit which says that is sarvendriyanam nayanam pradhanam that is among all the organs of special senses vision or the eyes are most important. And it is because of the eye that we are able to see things which are very close to our field of vision to as long as the distant star, you can see everything very clearly. That is a facility with this organs have given us. In some animals, the eyes are so sharp that it is said that an eagle for example, is able to spot an ant on the ground when it is flying or hundreds of feet up in the sky. So, eyes are extremely important for us all eyes are situated in front because we have got something called as binocular vision. Now, to explain this part of this eye, I am going to show you today a dissection of the goat's eye. Please understand that this is a scientific experiment that must be always done under supervision. Do not venture to do it on your own. You must always take the guidance of your teacher or some experienced person, do not do it alone. So, you see that this portion of the space you are seeing here is called as the orbit. It is a bony structure in which the eyeball is like a, a tennis ball or a table tennis ball and it is spherical. So, it has got a facility so that the animal can move the eye above and down side to side and in human beings etcetera or its developed animals it will also look downwards and inwards. Now, if you imagine that when how are you doing when you are reading a book that the book is very close to you and we are reading it here your eyes are down and towards your nose that is a very important facility. And now let us understand the more structure of this eye, right. Now, I have taken this a pair of forceps here and then the first the eyeball is like a, the a whole eyeball is a spherical structure. It is covered with a thin but transparent layer called as conjunctiva. What is it called? It is called as conjunctiva. It covers the entire surface of the eye. Now, I am going to lift this layer. Please understand how thin it is and how transparent it is you will understand here. Now, you find here under my forceps here you are seeing here this is your conjunctiva and all around the globe it is covering on the eyeball and when it comes in the front now that is where a very important structure and therefore function occurs. As it starts covering from here from periphery it is like a thin foldable membrane it is so loose I can put a, a my knife under it and I can cut it. I can cut it, right. But here, when it comes to the front, it is surrounding the eyeball and it is where it is getting converted into a very completely transparent layer called as cornea. Now, cornea is so transparent that it is very, very difficult for it to make it separately. But when I dissect it, you will be able to make the cornea very clearly. But before that, you I want you to understand, please see here in the middle of the eyeball, you are seeing a black colored window is here. Are you able to see students? A black colored window? Yes, that is the pupil. That is in a camera, it is the aperture of your eye or a camera. In the eye, that function is taken over by what is known as pupil. And please pay attention here. Surrounding this pupil, you will see here a brown colored a screen is there or you will see this brown colored skin right from here to here all round above the pupil, on the front of the pupil, side of the pupil and below the pupil discovered here. This structure gives the color to a person's or animal's eye and that structure is called as iris. Now, if you understand here, the iris has having an opening in the middle, that opening is called as pupil and it is this pupil through which light from outside enters the eye so that it can be refracted and the vision can be formed on the retina, right. Now, let us see here. Now, I have taken this cornea, I am lifting this cornea and I will be dissecting this cornea all round the eyeball. Are you able to see this? I am lifting this conjunctiva and I am dissecting this so, his conjunctiva is covering the pupil too? No, conjunctiva doesn't cover the pupil. See, it covers the front, the yeah, exact around the eyeball near the junction here. This is called as limbus. Okay. The junction of the cornea and the sclera is called as the limbus. At the limbus, now it gets converted into the first layer of the cornea. 
and now you can see here now i am just dissecting this conjunctiva all round and i want now you to concentrate on a very important portion of our eyeball that is called as the sclera this portion is called a sclera okay, the, white uh, the white colored portion is the sclera yes. if you see your eyes in a mirror you also will find that surrounding your cornea you also have got this sclera which is white portion right if you just open your eyes very widely you will be able to see your sclera very well now sclera gives the mechanical support to the eye but it is opaque but for vision the light has to pass through it so therefore when this sclera continues in front as cornea on the outside it is covered by a single layer of conjunctiva and below that this sclera becomes completely transparent and that transparent portion of the sclera in front is called as cornea cornea is so transparent that for a unlearned eye it is very difficult to spot the cornea separately but because it is completely shining and all it also acts like a mirror you can see actually your visual image into this cornea now i am just taking the now uh, you have observed this sclera white yeah, portion of sclera portion. this is the conjunctiva yeah. that is the sclera all round now i am going to cut this cornea to show the internal portion here when we see the three coverings of our eyeball the outermost portion is the a very transparent and a foldable membrane sana i hope you are able to see this yes. very clearly so this is called as the conjunctiva this is called as conjunctiva yeah. it covers the eyeball and affords the protection to the eyeball right yeah. and then when it comes in the front in this particular portion this surrounding the cornea right it binds here and then it rolls on the cornea as a very transparent layer yeah. now just below this conjunctiva you will see the white portion of the eyeball that is called as sclera okay a white color the white color portion we are seeing is a sclera mm -hmm. and this affords all the mechanical strain to the eye yeah. but barring the cornea in the remaining portions it is completely opaque but when it becomes a cornea it is even more transparent like the best quality of the glass so this transparency of the eyeball is due to the presence of cornea which is the front portion through which the light can enter right okay. now let us see see the sclera it's also below here so it above the eyeball you got sclera yes. below the eyeball is also got a sclera now to make the cornea a little moist it dries very quickly we we'll just put a little water so it becomes very moist and now you can see the pupil inside which is the transparent portion of your the window through which the light can go and this colored portion is the iris now let us try to dissect this cornea the light brown color is a pupil does the the black color is a pupil, pupil. Achha, and around uh, and around that here screen like structure here yes. where there is a hole in the middle yes. that that portion the color of the uh, there is this color the, there is iris and okay. the middle of the iris is the pupil yes. now i am just taking this forceps holding the eyeball firmly and i'll pass this knife to cut dissect the cornea from one end to the other end now you are seeing here how transparent it is yes sir right in this eyeball you can see even through this cornea the blade of my scalpel and i am going to take out this through the other end and i am going to dissect this cornea here and now you see what are you finding here you are seeing this black colored fluid yes, that is sir. coming inside here right so that you are getting here outside is the internal parts of the eye let me dissect this cornea so that we can show it well now, did you observe what happened as long as the cornea was intact the eyeball was like a stretched ball but once i punctured it here it collapsed yes sir because the aqueous humor the fluid in the front portion of the eye came out and now i'm just going to cut this eye what you are seeing this black color one is actually the iris right that's the black portion i'm going and to the black fluid sir the, the black fluid the fluid is colorless actually oh. but because it also has dissected portions of the iris then it is looking colored like this okay. i lift this cornea and dissect it so that we can see the internal portion well now in eye donation and all it is this cornea that is transplanted for the persons who suffer blindness there is a misnomer or misconception among the people that the whole eye can be transplanted no it is not true the only portion of the eye that can be transplanted from the 
dead patient's body to any person who is need of an eye is the cornea and this cornea you are seeing here i'm just and this is the full transparent uh -huh. one that is a cornea correct this portion is the cornea yeah, is right cornea. let us cut it further from all sides so that you can take it on the other side Now cornea is very stiff. One of the very important feature of the cornea, for it to maintain its complete transparency, is that it does not have any blood vessels. Now you will be surprised that if there are no blood vessels, how does the organ survive? Now the cornea gets all its oxygen supply from the air which is outside the eye. That gives all the supply. Now let us fold this here. Now you are able to see this cornea, yes, sir. right? Lady. Completely transparent, yes. and then, right? I hope you are able to see. I'll just turn this here. If the camera is focused nicely here, this portion is the iris. This coloured portion is the iris, and this opening which is there is the pupil. Let us dissect the cornea further. Now, I have just taken this cornea on the downside, then you are seeing this black color window the pupil and below the pupil is the most important part of our eye that is the lens. Now, this lens is the one which refracts the eye. Now, you can see the lens beautifully yes, here. You can see here this portion, spherical portion, right? I hope you, this, this ah, one, this correct, one. this portion is the lens. The lens is right behind the pupil, right behind the pupil and is suspended right from all sides, right above below and side to side by means of the muscles called as sus suspensory ligaments mm -hmm. and that is a very important portion and the most important part of a human lens or any animal lens is that it can alter its thickness, it can bulge or it can become flattened. To see the objects which are nearer, it will bulge. So, you can focus near objects and to see the far objects, it will become flat. So, it can see the far off objects. That is a very important feature which is not found in any camera in spite of the human technological development. But nature is an amazing engineer. So, in nature you will find all those things beautifully crafted. Now, you are seeing the lens. Because this lens is completely transparent, it cannot be taken away by simple dissection procedures. But I will just point my scalpel here this portion is the lens, this portion is the lens. Uh, huh, this is the lens, oh, okay. right? And it bulges? It bulges, well, it becomes bigger to see the closer objects, becomes flatter to see the far off objects oh. of adjustment of your image. The image will form, if you study in optics. When we, when we put a torch on an eye, we can see something is. That is a pupil, yeah, yeah is that a is a pupil, that the contracts okay, and all, like contracts. it is the shutter of your camera, it is like a shutter of your camera, okay. right. But this lens is transparent, normally for you have got a zooming lens and other lens are there. To see the far object, you have to change the lenses. Yes. In human eye, you cannot do that, it's right. It has to be automatic <laughs> and is there by nature. Even and by that, God. Yeah, and then that is the power of nature that is crafted as beautiful system in such a way that the focal length can be adjusted depending on the thickness of the lens. Mm -hmm. I hope you have understood and of enjoyed course, it too. Thank you so much, right. sir. So, are you convinced now? Sarvendriyanam Nayanam Pradhanam, right. Thank you for watching.